rescue team is in the main service corridor. Affirmative, Colonel. What's it look like in there? Main power is out. Switching to night vision. Oh, my dear God. What the hell? Control, we have massive casualties over here. Confirmed, Colonel. We expected that when we saw the hull damage. Was it decompression? Negative on that, Control. It almost looks like a wild animal tore through the crew. What the hell happened here, yes, sir? I'm showing four live ones. Four? There's supposed to be 137 crewmen Raiders aboard. never hit a ship this big before. We should call in reinforcements. Cut the chatter, Marines. Locate those life signs, Private. They're in engineering, near the shock point core. That's it, then. Lock and load, Marines. Look out! I don't know what's happening! The engines are firing! How is that possible? over. They're dead. Finally. <gasps> it's finished. <laughs> it's not finished. This is too big to end here. We've been in contact with a higher power. God damn it! I've had enough of your crazy shit, Strauss. You can't see because well, you're you not you two vessel. shut the hell up! We still need to work together, all right? We've got to get Quiet. To Listen. Do you hear that? Oh my god. They've come for us. It can't be more than we destroyed that damn I thing. I won't let them hurt her. Praxis rescue team, identify oh, yourselves. Oh, thank God you're here. I knew they'd come. I'm Dr. Isabel Cho, chief medical officer of the U.S. GOP. You just get away now. Nobody's taking my baby away from me again. Drop the weapon now. Nicholas, it's all right. Hunter, don't do it. Put him down. No, please don't. You've no idea what we've been through. They sent you, didn't they? They think that they can control this. They are all fools. Can't you see? It's already happening. Conversions is here. We shall all be made whole. <laughs> fools. Control, we've got one blue casualty and four survivors in custody. Bringing them in. Thing really happened over there. The bodies had these looks on their faces like whatever killed those people drove them crazy first. What's command saying? Command's treating the whole thing as a navigational accident. Accident, my ass. Almost looked like they killed each other. You ask me, something went seriously foobar out there, and the big guys back home are trying to cover their big fat ass. Oh, uh, excuse us. We didn't see. You. They sent an interrogation unit all the way out here? What kind of shit did those bastards from the O'Bannon get into? I don't know, but they are righteously fucked now. Scans confirm the target has been destroyed. It's unrecoverable. Unfortunate, but not a complete loss. What of the survivors? Only four, I'm afraid. I'm informed our specialist is among them. Luckily, yes. We're prepping for debriefing now, sir. I am authorizing enhanced interrogation techniques. I see. Do you think that will be necessary? We don't have time for subtlety. There have been questions raised about what happened at Aegis 7. When word of the O'Bannon gets out, people will demand answers. If you can't provide them, I shall be forced to reevaluate my confidence in your abilities. Of course, sir. You have seven hours before your ship docks at the Sprawl. This situation needs to be resolved by then. Yes, sir. I understand perfectly. What are you standing around for? Have the first subject brought in. It's time to go to work. It's everywhere. All around us inside us hey. the patterns. Guards. I see it all now. Will somebody talk to me? Human life is I'm not supposed to be here. Hey, is anybody out there? God damn it, somebody open this door. It's okay, Vivian. Don't worry, Pumpkin. We're safe now. Everything's gonna be just fine. 
Soon we'll be back with mommy, and then we'll all be together. This is all fucking way. crazy. I mean, it just doesn't make any goddamn sense. We survived that horror show back on the O'Bannon just to be locked up here? You know the reason we're in here is because that fucking lunatic shot a Marine. If anybody should be in here, it's him. It's okay, baby girl. He's just a little scared. Don't pay oh, me mind. I don't have anything to do with this crazy bastard. In fact, I don't even know Lord, these just people. Will you calm down? You're not helping matters. They have deeper reasons for detaining us than Mr. Cutner's outburst, Mr. Borges. There's a great design behind everything that's happened, and we're each a part of it now. Seriously, am I the only one who didn't go batshit crazy back on that damn planet? Strauss is right about one thing. We might have a problem. I did a tour on one of these with a med unit a few years ago. We were on board a government interceptor ship, in a holding cell where they detain terrorists. So what does that mean? It means the government might want someone to blame for what happened on the O'Bannon. And that will most certainly be us, Alejandro. This may well be the last time we see each other. <clears throat> Don't touch me! Isabel, what's the matter? Well, it's about fucking time. What's going on? Why are you holding us here? Step back. Hey, hey, hey. Take it easy. No problem here. Nicholas Kuttner, you will come with us. Mm -mm. I'm not leaving my little girl. Don't do that. Let me talk to him, okay? Get your hands off him! I dare you take me away from her! Ah! Stop! Stop it! He's had enough! You'll kill him! What the hell is going on? I don't know. She needs her father. No, no, Vivian, Vivian, let me go, let me go. Mr. Kuttner, please calm yourself. We have some questions. I'm not telling you shit until I see my daughter. Mr. Kuttner, the mind holds countless rational and irrational fears. For you, the fear is being burned alive. <gasps> That was simply an electronically induced hallucination created in the brain. But the mind is reality, is it not? State your name and occupation. Nicholas Kuttner, ex-Marine, security officer on the CDC O'Bannon. What the hell do you want from me? You are not here to ask questions, Mr. Kuttner. We are going to ask the questions. You are going to answer them, honestly and completely. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. We want you to start from the beginning. We want you to tell us about the mission to Aegis Seven. Aegis Seven. The O'Bannon got word to ship out about a week ago. We were ordered to Titan where we picked up a team of civilian tech heads. Mission specs were sealed, so nobody knew where we were headed. After we were underway a few days, the captain called a briefing. Is that your daughter, Mr. Kuttner? She's beautiful. My son has the exact same color eyes. Mind your business, Strauss. He doesn't want to talk about it, Nolan. His little girl died in an accident back home a few weeks ago. Oh, God, that's terrible. I don't know what I'd do if anything happened to my little boy. Dr. Cho, how's it going, girl? Hey, Strauss. Saw your wife earlier. She seemed a little stressed. Alexis is always stressed. So, Isabel, wanna go grab a drink at the hole after this? They got 12 credit specials after 0500. I'm sorry, I can't. I've got two rookies with artificial gravity sickness oh, to deal with. Boring, Doc. You stay locked in medbay all the time, you'll never get a man interested in you. Have some fun. 
Personally, I think starting any mission without a drink or six is a bad idea. I'll grab a beer with you if the offer's open. Oh, I don't usually drink with tech heads, but sure, <laughs> why not? I'm no lowly tech head, thank you very much. I'm a gravimetric control engineer, first class. So what do you guys know about this mission I don't? That is what we called you here to tell you, Mr. Naim. Commander Sajenko, didn't realize you were on this ship. Excuse me, sir. I'm Alejandro Borges with the engineering team from Titan Station. I understood this was just a routine gravimetric stabilization gig. What's with all the secrecy? This isn't your standard asteroid patch-up job, son. This is big time. <laughs> it must be. Dragging our sorry asses all the way to the edge of the galaxy. Eyes up and mouth shut, people. Good morning, Captain. Good morning. This is why we're here. I'm here because it's double wages. <laughs> the planet is Aegis 7. It was virtually destroyed in a mining accident three weeks ago. As you can see, the impact has made the planet unstable. And that's where we come in. Our job is to hold Aegis 7 together. You've got to kid me. There is no way. The captain is not yet finished speaking. After we achieve orbit, eight dropships will deliver gravity stabilizers to these key points. The artificial gravity we've generated should be enough to stabilize the planet. Are you serious? With only eight units? That planet is practically one huge bomb ready to explode. How long do you think a few gravity stabilizers will hold something like that together? This is what you signed on for, Mr. Borges. It's too late for you to back out now. Any other questions? When do we drop, Captain? 0500. Dismissed. Strauss, Joe, cut in the ring. We would like to speak with you. I understand some of you have heard rumors about what happened on Aegis 7. You can speak freely. Uh, I've heard they found something on the planet's surface so terrible, a guy called Clark dropped a whole continent on it. Something... Something alien. Bullshit. The rumors are true. They discovered an alien artifact 65 million years old. My god, it's actually real? What the hell is it? No one knows for sure. It's supposed to contain certain properties. What kind of properties? That's classified, Dr. Cho. Even to me. And I assume the artifact was destroyed upon impact? Correct. But satellite imaging reveals fragments have survived. Your team's mission is to locate and secure whatever can be salvaged of the artifact. On a planet that could explode any minute. It will be well worth the risk, Mr. Kuttner. Let's cut to the chase, Captain. Just how much are these fragments worth? Two million credits. A kilo. You know, I hear Aegis 7 is beautiful this time of year. We're dropping in three. You're playing hollow games three minutes before a drop, Polly? Yeah, I can't pause it right now. Aren't you a little young to be on this operation anyway? <laughs> My cousin's a genius at two things, hollow games and gravity stabilizers. We'd be screwed without him. The real question is, what are you guys doing here? You're not engineers. We are surveying for gravity fluctuations. Fluctuations? The whole planet's one big goddamn fluctuation. What the hell are you surveying? Locking onto gravity stabilizer, releasing docking clamps, ready to drop. Hold on to your breakfast, kiddies. Into one drop in five, four, three, two, drop. This isn't a planet. 
It's a freaking disaster in process. This is nearly total gravimetric and geothermal disruption. It seems impossible the planet's held together this long. Almost as if... As if what? Nothing. Nothing at all. I need more data. Okay, Noah, Omar. Our job is to keep that stabilizer from overloading. Let these guys go do... whatever the fuck it is they're really doing here. The scanners are calibrated to the frequency of the marker fragments. Sweep out in branching formation. Maintain radio contact at all times. Any questions? Back here at 0900. Stable by the minute. I haven't found a damn thing. Cutner, I've lost track of you. Rin! Come in, do you read me? Come in! Rin, you copy? Holy shit. Rin, come in. I've got something. This way, I think. Now, I gotta be right on top of it. Oh, you look at this. said to me. I miss you too. Why didn't you take care of me? Oh, take... No! Get away from her! Get away from her! No! 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 Gunner, all I got from you was static. What happened? I'm not sure. I, uh, I saw... I... Nicholas, I saw. what's wrong? Are you in pain? He's been acting weird since he found me. It could be a suit pressure. What do you want? Keep away from me! Oh, take it easy, Cut. Everything's cool. Gunner, what is that in your hand? It looks like a fragment. Papa! Vivian? They've got me, Papa! No! Vivian! He's got a piece of the artifact. It's affecting his mind. Get after him. Cutner, what are you doing here? You're gonna have to wait, man. We got a problem with the power flow. Papa! Papa, help me! Keep away from my daughter. What's he doing? He's gone nuts! What the hell is going on? I won't let you have her! Leave her alone! Dad, uh, away! Uh, Dad, uh, away! Uh, Dad, uh, away! Uh, away. Uh, From her! Papa! Papa! Help me, Papa! Leave her alone! Where are you, honey? No! No! Shh. Don't speak. You'll be okay. I need help here! 
Gorgeous. Appalling. What happened? Did the monsters get him? You bastard! Rin, Strauss, lock Kutner in the ship, now! The stabilizer's overloading! Noah, can you hear me? Noah! Let me see him! Noah! Alejandro, you have to let me see him! Make sure those bonds are secure. The artifact's influence can cause homicidal outbursts. And how do you know that, huh? What's really going on here? Rin? Rin, where's... Where's Vivian? We can't leave without my daughter. What the hell happened to him out there? Papa. Goodbye, Papa. Vivian! Vivian! No! No! Let me go! Let me go! No! No! Ah, let me go! Let me go! She needs me! Let me go! Ah! Ah! <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Prep the subject Wait. to cryo sleep. Yes, sir. Mr. Cutner will be of great use to us. Guards, restrain the subject. Hold it right there! What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Don't hurt me, please. I was ordered to you do it. You won't take me away from her. She needs her father. I have to find her. I have to keep her safe. Hurry, you fool. Alert security. Tell them he must not be harmed. Vivian! Where are you, Vivian? It's Daddy, baby. Don't be afraid. Vivian. Wait. Don't go, Vivian. Come back. Daddy's hurt, baby girl. No! Don't! Don't leave me! Don't leave me! Papa, get up! You have to get up, Papa. Vivian? I'm here, Daddy. You have to hurry, Papa. They're coming. They want to take you away from me. I'm here, Daddy. Come to me. We can be together. Together. Always. Always and forever, Papa. Always and forever. There he is! What's he doing? He's opening the airlock! He's crazy! Stop it! He came into direct contact with the Shard. The Overseer will not be pleased. But we still have the others. Bring in Alejandro Borges. Humanity is just the beginning. The Crystal is for something greater, something older, wiser. We will become. We must Ross, become. Ross, I'm serious, man. I will pay you real money to just shut the fuck up. What do you Why think those alarms sleep? were all about? Oh, uh, Cutner's dead. Stop it. You don't know that. But I do. I can sense it. We are all one. This separate, limited existence of living matter is just an illusion. A passing dream. Great. Thanks for creeping me out yet again, Doc. Are you ready to cooperate, Mr. Borges? Okay, I'll, all right. Anything, just no more spiders. Tell us about the disaster on Aegis Seven. 
Tell us about the Shard. I didn't even know about the damn Shard. I was just there to do a job. Okay, Noah, Omar, our job is to keep that stabilizer from overloading. Let these guys go do whatever the fuck it is they're really doing here. Something's up with their little expedition. Suspicious as hell. What do you mean? They're here to measure gravity fluctuations? I don't buy it for a second. Planet's breaking up. Move your asses, we got work to do. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna have an interesting first day on the job. I knew six stabilizers couldn't hold it. We've got to hold her. There are still teams on the ground. Power flow's out of balance. Gravity fluctuating. Go to manual. Noah! See? You have it. Just a second. Almost there. Noah! Got it! Yes! Good work, kid. I'm impressed. That's my cousin. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Settle down, big boy. That's it. Slice. Dice. Head. Die. Come on, there's gotta be a harder setting than impossible. Eh, the movie was better. Yeah, I never asked you, Borges. How'd you end up with that arm? Not much to tell, really. Mining accident. I lost it when a grav stabilizer I was working blue. Uh, my cousin's being humble again, Naeem. Alejandro there saved five guys off that rig. He's a hero. We lost 15 men that day. I'm no hero. I'm sorry. Life takes us strange places. I was going to be a priest when I was young. You're a unitologist, Omar? You really believe aliens created the human race? Look at us. We have perfect symmetry and a brain as powerful as the most advanced computer. And this came out of nothing? <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Laugh if you wish, my friend. But human life was created by alien beings. And when we die, we return to them. Grav flux is starting up again. We've got an overload. Gravity web is destabilizing. She won't hold. We could drop a dozen stabilizers on this planet, and it still wouldn't keep what's left of this place from blowing. We need to hold it until the teams get back. Noah, can you balance the flow? What? Cutner, what are you what doing you here? Get away from me. What's I he doing? Won't you. Ah! Omar! Wait, wait. What the, the hell here. is your problem, man? We don't have time for this I shit. I won't let hurt you, Vivian. Run, baby. Run. Who's Vivian? What the hell are you talking about? Get away from us. Almost got it. There! Yes, we're stable! I'll kill you! I'll kill you all! No! Noah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Noah! Save us. Don't speak. You'll be okay. I need, to... I need help what here! Happened? Did the monsters get him? Crap! Let me see him. Noah, can you hear me? Alejandro! No! You have to let me see him. Noah! He's bleeding out. We is have to okay? get him back to the ship. Doc, is he gonna be okay? I'm... I'm so sorry. The stabilizer is over! Alejandro! I can't hold it! Alejandro! Alejandro, they need you. The whole power grid is failing. Alejandro, I'm sorry, my friend. Automatic systems are total loss. Failure, there's nothing we can do. We have to get out of here. This is All units evacuate. Get back to the shuttle. Everyone, move. Go, go, move it. Run, get to the ship now. The lot is going this way. That's Nolan and Rin up ahead. There's a gas in the head. Don't stop. Jump it. Come on. Jump. <laughs> this way. I can't run anymore. Ah! No, I'm okay. Don't stop. Get to the ship. Rin, I'm sorry. You were a good soldier. Oh my God! Go around. Hurry, Commander Sajenko. Too late. Forces, take this. It's more important than you know. Protect it. Get out of here. All of you! That's an order! Get to the ship! Ah! What is happening? Gravity increasing. Is 
Is everyone all right? Omar, Omar, above you! Look out! Omar! Gorgeous! Omar! We can't help him. We have to go. We must get to the ship. What the fuck is happening? Get me out of this! Shut the fuck up, you crazy motherfucker! Buckle up, guys. We have to get off the planet. Someone cut me loose, goddammit! Hold on! Planet's going. Why is the engineer flying the goddamn Gorgeous. ship? I'm barely a pilot, okay? I think I'm gonna throw up. Aim for Cutler. Shit! We've lost Shuttle 4. We must get the shard back to the O'Bannon. What are they doing? The ship is too close to the planet. They need to clear the gravity well before they shock point out. That bastard's not leaving us behind. Hold on! It's tearing apart now! The engine! Look out for the engine! Hold on! This is bullshit! I'm too fast! Four I told you we should not let him drive. Shit! 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 Right? Someone call medical. That son of a bitch. Full power for the engines. Are we far enough to shock point? You! You knew! Hold on, son. We've got a situation here. She's going! Emergency power to shock point drive. Shocking out in eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We're not gonna make two. it. Weapons control. Vaporize any planetary debris that gets too close. Lieutenant Marcus, send out a distress signal. Sir, those rocks will tear us to pieces. We won't survive very long without the shock point drive. I understand the situation, Ensign Boyd. Borges, get your team down to the engine room and repair that drive. Mr. Borges, I gave you an order. I'm not fixing shit until you explain why this fucking rock was worth my cousin's life. Sir, what are you talking about? Captain. Kuttner had some sort of psychotic breakdown. Engineer Pauling was killed, as were most of the engineering teams. Follow me, all of you. First officer, I want a full damage report in five minutes. Yes, sir. Okay, lady. Man your stations. The bodies have been taken to cold storage. Kuttner is under observation in sickbay. Captain, perhaps it would be best to keep the shard under quarantine until we know more about its properties. Hmm, of course. I was hoping for more, but... You were hoping for more? You sent us on a suicide mission for a lump of rock? This is much more than just a lump of rock, son. The high IQ boys back home say this will change the face of science itself. And that's worth all the people who died back there. Easy, Alejandro. I'm sure the captain couldn't predict the Shard's influence on Kuttner. Look, son. The Shard? It's worth a lot of money. Enough for you to take care of Engineer Pauling's family for the rest of their lives. You son of a bitch! Gorgeous! Take it easy, Alejandro. What the fuck was that? 
Pieces of the planet are still impacting the ship. We need to get clear of the debris field. Mr. Borges, if I didn't need you to save this ship, you would be in the break for that. Now, get your ass down to the engine room and repair the shock point drive, or we're all dead! Alejandro? How old was Paul? About 19. I'm sorry, Noel. I got you this job. It's all my fault. And you never came into direct contact with the fragment? No, I swear. I never touched the damn thing. Lie detection states 99.9% .9 truth. He never touched it. Thank you, Mr. Borges. You've been most cooperative. What's happening? We'll have you escorted to guest quarters for the remainder of your trip to the sprawl. You mean... I can go? Seriously? Well, you'll have to go through med scans, of course. But you'll be back home to your family as soon as we dock. Oh, thank God. Thank you, thank you. Right this way, Mr. Borges. I can't believe it, I'm actually going home. <laughs> I gotta tell you guys, a couple times back on the O'Bannon, I honestly thought I was a dead man. Have the remains taken to cold storage, and bring in Nolan Stross. Yes, sir. No, no, what are you doing? Please don't, don't do this. No, stop, let me out, no, I'll be good, let me out, oh God, please let me out. Claustrophobia, most horrible. <sighs> now I take it you're ready to talk sense? We're on a bit of a deadline, I'm sure you understand. Yes, yes, I understand, better than you could possibly comprehend. Dr. Stross, you have been Chief Research Scientist on the O'Bannon for a little over a year now? One year, two months, and nine days. And all that while, you've also been clandestinely a part of our government's secret investigation into the alien marker. Is that correct? That's correct. Since I was already a part of the O'Bannon's crew, they decided to send us in after the Ishimura incident. I was to examine any fragments in the marker and make a thorough report. I see. Now, why don't you share with me the results of your investigation? After we returned to the O'Bannon, I went to check on my family. My family means a great deal to me. The shock point drive is down? But how are we going to get home without it? An engineering team is working round the clock to fix it, Alexis. Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. Won't it, little fella? No, Lynn. Who's a big boy? Level with me. Such a big Does all boy. this have anything Here to do with are. that other research you're Here doing? You the are. government stuff? Alexis, can you please not grill me during the few moments a day I get with my son? I need to go. The captain wants me to examine the artifact we found on the planet. What kind of artifact? The classified kind. What about that doctor you're always with? Is she classified too? Alexis... You spend more time with her than with us. She's a colleague. Why would I have brought you on this trip if there was anything going on? Because you're the senior science officer and I pestered to come along. I've got to get to the lab. You can't keep running there every time I want to have a discussion about our relationship. Don't wait up. Oh, sweetie. Shh, 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 shh. I'm here. Mommy's here. Come in. Caleb, I really should be starting the analysis of the show. Captain? I want some answers, Mr. Strauss. I nearly lost my ship recovering that damn thing, and now I'm just supposed to turn it over to you? You'll have to take that up with home base. I have. They tell me all matters connected with the Shard I need to know only. My goddamn ship scientist needs to know more about this mission than I do, apparently. Excuse me for saying so, sir, but you don't look well. It's the Shard. I can hear it talking to me. Caleb, have you discussed this with Dr. Cho? Just get the damn thing out of my sight. 
but i'm warning you strauss whatever the hell is going on you keep in your lab we're in deep enough shit here as it is It's even more astonishing than I could have possibly imagined. What is, Doctor? The structure is similar to a hologram. Every particle contains all the information of the whole. What made this cuneiform-like symbol? There's no scratching or sign of cutting, as if the crystal itself gave birth to it. What? What's happening? The shards. It's... Oh! It... It's some form of... Telepathic and Cody? Dr. Strauss, are, are you feeling well? Huh? I'm fine, I'm fine. My god, it's a form of DNA. A blueprint. Melnit, what are you doing? Isabel, you won't believe it. Sandra, that, that'll be all, thank you. But doctor, we need to run the spectral analysis. That will be all, Miss Burns. Isabel, it's amazing. The shard, it's the key to an alien language. A, a guide to DNA chains I've never seen before. This may contain the secret to the future of human evolution. Nolan, are you okay? You seem a little hyperactive. Try and understand. This is the finding of a lifetime. Well, don't let it go to your head, hmm? But this could alter the very destiny of humanity. Change everything. We'll talk about that later. But right now... <laughs> The shard seems to generate some sort of carrier wave. So advanced, my instruments can barely detect it. Though I have a theory that when it comes into contact with dead human tissue, it reanimates the cells, possibly into a new and more evolved form. Can you explain what happened to Cutnot on the planet? Well, it seems most humans, when influenced by the marker, become hyperpsychotic. Only a very small percent are resilient to its effects. Cutner was already on the edge, his grief over his daughter. The shard pushed him over into a delusional state. And you believe the shard was originally created by aliens? A higher intelligence, most definitely. What a primitive mind would call God. <laughs> God, he says. Strauss, maybe you should get some sleep. Strauss. Strauss. Can you hear me? The shard somehow transmits nightmares, dreams, and visions. But the knowledge it emanates. I need a test subject. Already the signal from the shard permeates the dead flesh of the subject. I've never seen anything transform an entire host cell so quickly. It's... it's beautiful. Damn it! How can I be expected to complete my experiments under these conditions? What? That's not possible. Ah! Oh, no! Don't you fault, Doctor. They will all suffer because of you! Uh, a hallucination. It was just a hallucination. The door. I broke the seal. I wasn't thinking. <gasps> Good lord. What have I done? Dr. Strauss, I've got the Sandra! Sandra, get out! <laughs> oh, no. no. Get out! No. Get away. It's not my fault. The shard tricked me. Leave me alone! Captain! Captain, 
I have to tell you, it's about the shard. Not right now, Strauss. I've got the engine room on the horn. I need that shock point back online now, Borges. Thanks to that Class A cluster fuck down on the planet, Captain. I barely have any engineers left. It'll be a miracle if we can pull this thing off. Mister, I have taken about all the shit from you I'm going to... What the hell is going on? We're under attack! Looks like... Borges. Borges! God damn it. Lieutenant Marcus, take a security team down there. Captain! Please, no, listen no, to me. Strauss. We have a code three emergency in the engine room. All personnel report to their stations. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. Alexis, the baby. Emergency stations, move it, move it. Oh, God, God, God. <laughs> Alexis? Lex, are you here? Alexis? I made a horrible mistake. The shard. I'm not thinking clearly. Alexis? Son? Son, is that you? Nolan? Nolan, something's happening. The bodies, they're, they're turning into creatures. It has to be the shard. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Seeing those dead creatures must have truly affected her. Isabel changed after that. But I had to do it. Those things were threatening my family. Dr. Strauss, where is your family now? I, uh... I locked them in their quarters. Did your men find them? Are they safe? What about the baby? This heart rate is 160. I need to see them. Convergence is coming. We have to be together when the change arrives. Dr. Strauss, where is your family? In my quarters, I told you. Yes, you did. Where <laughs> is your family? Uh, safe in quarters. Save them, I save them. Interesting. Uh, I've never seen such a complete uh, block before. Increase the voltage. Ah, I won't! I won't remember! You can't make me really remember! Quite extraordinary. You're just doing what it wants you to do, all of you. You're gonna kill me now, aren't you? Like you did Cutner and Borges. We don't want to kill you, Dr. Strauss. You don't? Of course not. You came into direct contact with the Marker. It actually communicated with you. Your mind holds the key to its language. You're exactly what we've been looking for. What is that? What are you doing? Please stop. I, I did everything I was asked to do. Why are you doing this to me? Stop! Stop it! Please stop! Not this! Please! 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 Unfortunate. About the claustrophobia. They will be pleased, won't they, sir? Strauss is everything they wanted. Not quite everything. Bring in Isabel Cho. Sprawl, this is Abraxas. Requesting permission to dock. Permission granted. Abraxas, welcome home. <laughs> you are making this unnecessarily difficult, Doctor. We merely wish to know about the Shard's full effects upon the O'Bannon's crew. You're talking to the wrong person. Nolan studied the artifact. And we want to know more about Nolan Strauss. Did he reveal the details of his investigation to you? You were having an affair. Why is that relevant? Dr. Cho, I have no wish to cause you further discomfort. But if you do not answer my question, I shall be forced to intensify my methods. Do you understand me? Uh, uh, yes. Tell me about your affair with Dr. Strauss. I... The affair lasted several months. We've been working together for a year. I, I didn't plan it. It was just something that happened. 
He told me he was going to leave his wife, but I didn't want him to. I tried to stay away, but I, I couldn't. For the first time in my life, I was in love. After we found the shard on Aegis Seven, Nolan started acting strange, erratic. Do you know what's the most fascinating thing about the crystal structure, Isabel? Hmm. The patterns there are almost familiar. Like a dream I've nearly forgotten. <laughs> I think you've lost me. I only speak English and Korean. This is going to shape reality itself, Isabel. Nolan, I, um, I want you to come to Sick Bay. Let me run some psych scans. Remember what that thing did to Kuttner? I don't need psych scans. You have no comprehension of what I'm doing here. I've nearly grasped its sacred language, the ultimate source of human life itself. Nolan, you're starting to scare me. I think it's time for you to leave. I have work to do. All right. I need to check on Kuttner anyway. So, how's our patient today? Resting comfortably, Doctor. Are you feeling better, Nicholas? Head hurts. Still can't remember much. Do you remember seeing your daughter? Of course. She's out playing right now. She'll be back soon. Of course she will. Those engineers better get the drive working. I need to get Vivian home to her mother. I'm sure they're doing their best. I have to go. Try and get some rest, okay? Whenever I close my eyes, all I see are monsters. All right, doctors. We have a dozen DOAs to process. Ripley and Wells should have finished the prep by now. The captain wants a full report by... Oh my god. Oh, the bodies are gone. What could have done this? <gasps> I the great marker. Is that Dr. Ripley? Call the captain. We've got to call. <gasps> Emergency stations! Everyone get to your posts! Now! Move it! Doc, what's going on? Oh my god, this can't be happening. Doc! It, it can't be! Am I going crazy? What the fuck is that? Oh no. Get me out of here. Get me off this table now. It's the monsters, isn't it? I knew they'd be back. Come on, you bastard! Here I am! Right here! What the hell is it? Bouchard's behind this. I can feel it. Where's the rest of the crew? I don't know. We have to find Vivian. I'm sure she's safe. Look, if the Shard's doing this, then we need to find Nolan. Come on. All this blood? What happened to all the bodies? They changed. They became one. I saw it. <laughs> I saw it happen. Chief? Chief, is that you? They want you, too. They want you both dead! Oh, Chief, what are you doing? Let's go! This way! Right behind you! Where are we now? This is Nolan. I mean, Dr. Strauss's quarters. Wait here. Keep your eyes open. No shit, you think? Nolan? Nolan, something's happening. The bodies, they're, they're turning into creatures. Nolan, is that your wife? Maybe. Nolan. What have you done? Isabel, we have to warn the others. I accidentally released the infection. Keep away from me. Keep away from me! You monster! Doc? You Isabel! Monster. What is it? What's the matter with you? There's another one! How many of these things are there? On your left! Still coming! Get out of the hole! Get to safety! It's still coming! Strauss! What the hell is going on? What are these things? They are the future, Captain. They're what we were always meant to become. 
glorious and immortal. God damn it, Nolan, get it together! What's wrong with you, man? Captain, we've got more company. Too many to fight. We need a way out. Vivian? Baby, is that you? Vivian, wait! Vivian, come back! It's not safe down there. Cut, no? Where the hell's he going? No, he's right. They can't follow us through there. Then hurry! Come on! Move your ass! Get moving! I'll cover you! Keep going! All of you! That's all without power. Right behind you, Captain. There's nothing you can do. She's gone. She's gone! She... She was a good officer. A good shipmate. You need to keep going, Captain. Those things may find their way into the vent. Come on! Vivian went this way. By all means, let's follow the ghost of his dead daughter. I'm not entirely comfortable depending on someone who has obviously lost his mind. <sighs> yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Vivian says we should go down there. I think we're over the science section. This is your lab, right, Strauss? Sounds quiet enough. It's all clear. Come on! Oh, something's got him! No! Borges, it's us! It's Kuttner! I know who it is. Take you with Stop me! Stop it! Stop it! We don't have time for the shite! Calm down, Alejandro. I only want safety for my daughter. Your daughter's dead, asshole! Just like my cousin you killed! No, Vivian, don't listen. He's confused. He's just scared. Borges, what's the situation with the shock point drive? Did you get it operational? Fuck no! The engine room is totally fucked! We barely got out. We? Sorry, Captain. We were overrun. They got the bridge as well. Let me take a look at that arm. Pretty rough laceration, but you'll be okay. I'll need some help here. I'll help, love. Isabel, what is wrong with you? Keep away from me, you sick bastard. Or I swear I'll throw you up there with the rest of the monsters. Cross! We could use you over here. Yes, Captain. What the hell is going on? Why is my crew turning into goddamn monsters? Homo sapiens are the true monster. These are higher forms of life. We're becoming them. And soon. We will all become one. What What did you say? Ignore him. He's not well. Uh, no, no. There's an old unitologist proverb. All forms of life will unite in convergence. We shall be one. My mom said that we were living in the end of days. Convergence is coming soon. By the look of things, it seems like your mom was right. So how the hell do we stop it? Strauss, you're the only one who understands those things. How can we stop them? Nolan, look, we need you, okay? The, the necromorphs are animated by the signal from the shard. We have to stop the carrier wave. Well, give me that goddamn thing. I'll stop it. Didn't even scratch it. There's no way you can destroy it. Only shatter it, and every piece will retain the properties of the original, like a hologram. There's got to be a way. No, no. It was designed by an intelligence we can't begin to comprehend. You'd have to cast it into the heart of a star. Or a reactor core? Yes, yes, that might do it. Then we take this thing to the engine room, and we destroy it. Are you serious? The engine room is fucking crawling with those things. Then we fight our way through them. We don't have a lot of choice. The ship can't take much more. What do we have for weapons? Just your gun and these bone saws we grabbed in medical. I was working on those things until you guys showed up. Are you actually building something out of all this junk? Flamethrower. A few incendiary grenades. Found some plasma cutters. Charges are pretty low. Okay then. Can you travel, Lieutenant Marcus? Yes, sir. Then everybody arm yourselves. Let's go. God damn is quiet. Those things couldn't have gotten the whole crew, could they? Everybody stay together. Wait. What was that? I thought I heard something. It's clear. This way. I know I heard something. Look out! Get out of there! Oh, shit! Move it! It's wet behind you! I think we're just pissing it off! Got any better ideas? Yeah. Run! This way! Hurry! Down here! Jenny? Londa, don't get too close to it! It's alright. It's my roommate, Jenny. 
Praise the marker! Jenny, are you okay? Lana, no! Get away from it! They're right behind us. Come on, Doc, we gotta go! Let's see if this bad boy works. Finally, the engine room's through that door. We're not too far from the reactor core. We're not there yet. Look! Let's go! Move it! Hold on, you something! Get to the engine room! We can seal the airlock there! Help me! Oh God, help Hold me! Up. Hang on, son. I'm coming for you. Almost got you. A little closer. Ah. No! Stop now! Come on, move it! Get your asses up here! We have a problem! What now? The power is out to the airlock door! It's damaged on our side! It has to be closed from out there! If anyone out there will be torn to pieces, I'll do it. No! Captain, you'll be trapped! Way. You will do as you ordered, Doctor. You too, Mr. Borges. Send this thing back to hell where it belongs. And tell my wife she was right. I should have retired before this trip. All right, you bastards. Come on, get him! I tell you what, if we throw that damn thing into the core like he told us, this way. There it is, the shock point drive, the most powerful machine mankind has ever created. How do we do it? We throw it into the core, over the edge of the platform, there. Ah! No! The shark! I've got it! Oh shit. I am so fucking sick of these fucking things. You and me both. We will all uh. be... Throw it! Throw it now! It's over. They're dead. Finally. It's finished. <sighs> you know the rest. It's a pity you didn't come into direct contact with the Shard. You have a fine mind and a strong will. I'm sure it would have resonated with you, as it did with Strauss. My God. 
You knew what would happen if we found the fragments, didn't you? We are not ignorant of the Marker's capabilities. You didn't just want the fragments. You wanted us exposed to that thing. All that horror, all those deaths, you did it on purpose. You have nothing to fear. In the end, you won't suffer, I promise. I don't understand. During our session, we docked at the sprawl. There is someone here who would like to speak to you. Ah, my dear Dr. Cho, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. I'm so sorry about any discomfort this process may have caused you, but you must understand how important this project is. Project? What project? Who are you? I? <laughs> I am a simple overseer to a greater purpose. We are working to change the face of humanity, my dear. Come with me and I'll explain. Doctor, you and your team did a fine job. My compliments. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I I'm very happy that you're pleased. Very pleased indeed. Good day. Praise the great master. I thought our jobs might be in jeopardy. Do you think we might be promoted? I'm sure the overseer will see that we are appropriately rewarded. As a doctor, you must see that the marker is the greatest discovery in the history of humanity. It has the potential to alter human DNA, to save our flawed dying species. It turns people into mindless monsters. Is that the kind of nightmare you want to unleash? Its power is controllable under the right circumstances. We just need some more time to continue our research into the marker. Regrettably, these recent events have become too public. We need an airtight cover story, and we'd like you to help us with that. You want me to just forget everything that's happened? To my shipmates on the O'Bannon and all those colonists on Aegis 7? We have significant resources dedicated to this project, Dr. Cho. You'd be an important part of the team. In a few years, you could be heading the whole medical sciences division. Please, consider helping us with this great work. I won't do it. You're playing God with human life. People deserve to know the truth. <sighs> Isabel, I'm truly sorry you feel that way. Secure the patient. What are you doing? Stop it! Get your hands off of me! Stop! Let me go! Everything is ready. Stop you it. may proceed. What are you going to do to me? Someone has to be held responsible, no. Isabel. No! Please don't do this! Please, oh God! No! No! Authorities today announced the arrest of a suspect connected to a recent series of terrorist attacks on the USG Ishimura, the USG O'Bannon, and a mining colony on Aegis 7. Isabel Cho, a former medical officer assigned to the O'Bannon, was rescued from a life pod recovered after the O'Bannon's engines were sabotaged and the ship destroyed. Interrogators have received a full confession from Ms. Cho, and sentencing is scheduled for next week. The cover story is working well. People believe what they wish to believe, Dr. Edgars. Yes. Ah, it appears Dr. Strauss has arrived. Excellent. That makes two who have come into contact with the marker. Two? Who is the second? The engineer who destroyed Aegis 7. We found him half-crazed in an escape shuttle. Imagine our luck. Synchronicity reveals the will of the cosmos, Dr. Edgars. Of course, Overseer. Be gentle with the patient. His mind is the key to the secrets of the marker. Yes, sir. Welcome to your new home, Nolan. Welcome to the sprawl.